is May here. Today I'll bring you through a routine surgery we carry out in female dogs called a bitch spay. We spay dogs to prevent unwanted litters and also prevent other diseases such as pyometras, ovarian and uterine cancers later in their lives. So let's begin! As we are on anesthetics today, we prepare the records and monitoring charts, carry out checks on our machine and then admit our patient. We prepare materials to place an IV catheter. We have our materials here in catheters. We got our scrub, our prep, chloro prep as well. We on use our different size catheters. We got some tape. We got our tea port and a flush to flush through. Toothbrush, our tape, and we are ready. This is done so that we have an intravenous access to administer drugs or any fluids that are needed during the operation. For a detailed video on the pre-operative stuff that we do, I've linked these amazing informative videos below. This video shows how we induce the dog using a induction drug and then intubate the dog with a laryngoscope and a tube so that we can have a patent airway for the oxygen and the anesthetic agent to be administered to the dog. So, after inducing our patient, we roll her into theatre and connect her to the monitoring equipment. Then, the surgeons can begin the procedure. Here's a brief overview into what the procedure looks like. We incise into the abdomen and then locate the uterine horns and uterus, ligate them and then remove them respectively. And then after we check that our ligatures are secure and no bleeds are detected, we close up the muscle, subcutaneous and skin layer. I would recommend checking out Everyday Vet's channel for more details on a bitch spay. As the procedure is done, our patient is transferred to wards where my colleague will monitor her for a smooth recovery from the anesthesia. You'll be pleased to know that she's doing fine after her operation and is being the cutest and bravest girl ever. So, in brief, the benefits of spaying include preventing pregnancies, preventing pyometra, ovarian, uterine cancer, and reducing the risk of mammary cancers that can be life-threatening. The risks of spaying include being put under a general anesthetic, obesity, and also joint-related issues depending on the breed and age of the animal. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!